Why do people look at pornography? I promise you there's a lot more to it than what you think. So listen to what I have to say. I've been a therapist for many years treating pornography addiction. I'm an expert at treating pornography addiction. And so I understand the reasons why people look at pornography. Beyond just the arousal and sexual excitement, there's reasons why people go and look at porn. And there's reasons why they go there and continue to watch it even when they don't want to. So it'll be helpful for you to watch this video if you can't stop looking at pornography or if your loved one can't stop looking at pornography. You'll be able to understand it much better. A lot of people look at pornography, and I'm not here to tell you whether it's right or wrong or whether you should or shouldn't. I just want to educate you as to why people look at pornography. Most people find pornography at a pretty young age. The average age of exposure to pornography is about nine years old. So you're exposed to pornography at a young age. A child that young doesn't understand what it is. But as you progress and as you develop, you realize that it's about sex. It's about sexual feelings and you're driven to look at those images because of arousal. You feel excited, you feel dopamine, and you want to connect to that because of the sexual rush that you get. Now as time progresses, if you start to use that pornography to numb your emotions, to deal with stress, to deal with strife in your relationships, to problems with your parents, you start to condition yourself to use that thing to soothe yourself. And as you do that, you're actually developing an addiction that looking at pornography is no longer about sex, it's about emotion regulation. The problem is, is you're not dealing with your emotions. You're numbing them out and you're learning how not to face your emotions. So believe it or not, many people look at pornography just to soothe themselves and it has nothing to do with sexuality. Pornography does something else on a much deeper level. What happens is when somebody has a lot of shame, they feel not good enough, they feel like they're broken, they sexualize their shame and they actually find sexual things that fill that void for them. And in today's day and age, you can find whatever you need to find. Whatever flavor you need that will suffice for that void that you have, the pornography can fill it. So let me give you an example. Somebody who feels unloved, like they're unseen, they might look at pornography where there's multiple partners and many people. Somebody who feels unimportant, they might look at pornography that's about power and control. And that pornography can fill that void for that split second where they feel good about themselves. Now, it's not real, it's fake, but for that split second, they feel good about themselves. The problem is if they're using it because of the shame, after they're done using it, they realize that they're back in reality and they feel that shame all over again on a much deeper level because now they feel like they're out of control with their pornography use. Before I go on and tell you more reasons why people look at pornography, if you want to learn more in depth, then check out my podcast. The link is in the description. Pornography can be a fake way to feel desired, seen, powerful, adequate, all of those things. What it does is it prevents you from actually learning how to show up that way in real life. But another thing pornography does that's important to talk about is it provides some arousal. When life is mundane, when life is boring, when you're just getting through life, then pornography is excellent at creating some excitement. So what that means is if you really desire to go look at porn, you may need to change your life a little bit. Put in some healthy habits, some good things that make you feel excited and happy and things to look forward to in your life. If not, you're just gonna turn to the porn that works really good to make you feel excited and aroused. I want you to think about pornography like cocaine for a second. You look at cocaine or you look at white sugar even. Those are things that are refined down to their purest form. And they're designed to go into your body and just give you a rush, give you a rush of energy, stimulate you and make you feel good. Pornography is the same way. Pornography is about the rush, the sexual excitement. It doesn't take any work to connect. It's not 
hard to have that sexual experience with somebody. So it's so easy to get that rush. That's what makes pornography so addicting. So that's one reason why people turn back to pornography. Many of the men that I work with, they actually prefer pornography to having sex with their wife. And the reason is, is because it's easier. They get a rush faster and they don't have to go through all of the work that it takes to create connection and intimacy in a relationship. If you got a lot of information as to why somebody views pornography from this video, then you'll really like my video, How Do You Know When You're a Sex Addict? The link is in the description. I hope it's helpful.